This is Isaac Ferry with Crop Tech Consulting bringing you this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. In this week's segment, Brad shows us how to ensure that your row units are running straight and what to check for when inspecting your seed tubes for wear. Here we're looking at uh, the wear on the bottom of the seed tube. At first glance, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We don't see a lot of wear. Over here on the right side, things look pretty good. We've got a lot of thickness over there. On the left side, we're starting to wear. What we see a lot of times that causes the most problem, if you look inside, I'll flip behind it with this screwdriver, there's a small tab of plastic. As this is wore, it's actually turned the bottom of that plastic in, and this actually has the possibility of affecting our seed drop. It'll actually catch seeds, uh, and we'll have some spacing issues, and we could have some depth issues if it wasn't for this firmer uh, with seed bouncing around in the seed trench itself. One of the ways we can pr prevent that from happening is going with a better seed tube guard. So in this case here, our frog or seed tube guard is a straight down type and it doesn't offer a lot of protection back here at the tube itself. What we'd rather see guys run is a style like this that stays closer to the front of the seed tube and offers a little bit more protection where we need it. So one of the most important things we're going to check here also on the row unit is make sure that the row unit is running perpendicular uh, to the toolbar and nothing's bent back here. A lot of times in the older planters we see a lot of these row units get sprung. It's an important thing to do at the beginning of each year to make sure everything's straight and true. Uh, on some of the older planters up here at the front this wasn't a solid plate between the parallel arms and what could happen is these U-bolts may have been assembled incorrectly or may have slid on the frame itself and the top of these bars could be either pinched in or out uh, making, making it uh, hard to control your downforce. So one of the first things you can do is measure the width of your parallel arms at the bottom towards the row unit and also at the top near the toolbar and make sure that distance is the same. If it's not, you may need to make adjustments to your U-bolts up here or to your bushings uh, to get everything lined back up. As far as the straightness of the row unit itself, the way we're going to check that is we're going to measure from the center of the parallel arms so in this case we're going to go off this hole here in the middle and we're going to measure out a known distance to the outside and mark our toolbar. So in this case we've measured out from the center on each side 12 inches or a foot and we put a chalk mark on the toolbar itself. So we've got one on the left side and again another one over here on the right side, one foot off the center. So to check to make sure this row unit's aligned, we're going to measure from that chalk mark to a known point back on the row unit. So in this case we're going to measure back to these pins where the insecticide box goes. In this case, on the, on the left hand side, we're at 41 and a quarter. We're going to go over to the right hand side, we're going to measure at the same line. So, again, from the chalk line to our insecticide post, 41 and a quarter. That would tell us that this frame right here is perpendicular to our toolbar and we don't have anything sprung. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. Please check our website for more information and other videos.